Hey there, pilots, and welcome to another Mech Spotlight. Today, we're taking on the biggest, baddest, and most unforgiving mech in the arena. The Brick House? We're taking on the second biggest, second baddest, and nearly the most unforgiving mech in the arena, the Juggernaut. This hefty war machine is built to take and dish out punishment in equal measure. And that's just what it does. I wouldn't call it unforgiving. Then you and I have a lot to discuss. It's just too slow to be that good. It's slow, all right, but it more than makes up for it. First of all, Juggernaut is incredibly durable. It's got a ton of HP, but its ability is what really takes it to the next level. Ugh. All right, true. That personal shield is so hard to deal with. It sure is. When the Juggernaut activates its ability, it gets a beefy protective barrier that lasts 12 seconds with a 10 second cooldown. Damage doesn't spill over either, so if the shield takes a heavy hit and breaks, any leftover damage is lost. Well, it's not perfect. It does go away eventually. You can just duck around a corner and wait it out if you want. It's not like a Juggernaut can run you down. Not a bad idea. Still, a clever Juggernaut will duck in and out of combat, timing their exposure so that nearly all the damage they take is to their shield. Like jerks, fortunately, Juggernauts have trouble controlling engagements like that because, did you forget, they're super slow. Okay, fine. Yes, the Juggernaut is slow. Super slow. Super slow. Almost the slowest. Satisfied? <laughs> well, a Juggernaut's speed and size are critical to taking it down. If a jug is coming at you, fall back and wait until you've got backup or the jug is reloading. Alternatively, you can hammer it with long-range weapons like long arms or rail guns. It's not going to dodge, believe me. Okay, those are solid tactics for taking down a… did you call it a jug? Everyone calls it a jug. Okay, well, anyway, like I said, solid tactics. If a juggernaut wants to succeed, it needs to be cautious or make sure it has backup. That said, Juggernaut also has decent energy capacity, letting it mount some pretty powerful weapons. Eventually. Right. True. It doesn't start that way. But after a few upgrades, the Juggernaut can carry pulse cannons and missile racks, even long arms, stasis beams, and carbines. All of them are good choices for a Juggernaut. If you're going to fight a Juggernaut, though, you'll want damage, 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 but not all at once. Rocket mortars and javelin racks are almost useless, as the shield will absorb most of the hit and be back up by the time you reload. No, this is about long arms and missile racks. But both of those weapons have the same problem. There will always be a shield in the way. Yeah, but most of the damage will get through, and a pair of long arms can sometimes kill a jug in one magazine, even with the shield. And of course, there's always the quick way to deal with the shield. Oh, not this. You mean- That's right, system crash. The Guardian can wipe out a jug shield and all its ammo in one fell swoop. Combine that with missile racks or stasis beams, and you've got a perfect counter. All right, fine. Juggernaut is tough, but it's not invincible. Can we at least agree that a Juggernaut is a fantastic way to hold or take a contested beacon? Well, there's no denying that. They're like big, deadly rocks. Taking one out is like climbing a mountain. <laughs> I hear that. All right, pilots, maybe you can sort this out. Is the Juggernaut an unforgiving opponent, or is it just too slow to compete? Let us know in the comments. And while you're there, feel free to like and subscribe for more Mech Arena content. See you in the arena.